Bitter cold, icy roads, and whiteout conditions. Winter and everything with it is heading our way. That's why Fox 19 Now is getting you prepared, breaking down the hidden dangers behind the winter season. You turn to us for your daily forecast, but how does it differ when snow is heading our way? Plus, we're finding the best ways for you to remove snow at home. The sod will never die. And we're taking you back in time to learn the history behind the Tri-State's only ski resort. Somebody drove up the, the road and said, have you thought about making a ski resort? We're also taking a look at how lake effect snow will play a role in our winter weather. We have all of this to keep you ahead of the storm. Ahead of the storm. A first alert winter weather special. Welcome to Ahead of the Storm, the Fox 19 Now first alert winter weather special. In the next half hour, we are going to talk everything winter, including snowballs. Yes, from strong winds <laughs> and snow squalls to icy conditions. Okay, guys, we know it's not winter, but we've already oh. seen the temperature changing in the tri-state. Yeah, which means it's time for you to start getting prepared. And we begin with an explainer behind an El Nino winter. The documented winter weather history of Cincinnati began right here 235 years ago where the serpentine wall meets the public landing. Cincinnati's first 25 settlers had to fight chunks of ice as they landed on shore on December 28, 1788, a cold and blustery day in the area. If that 235 year history tells us anything, it's that Cincinnati winters are wildly variable. From the boring, balmy ones to the headline grabbers destined to be winter weather legends that persist through generations. El Nino is relatively new to the long history of Cincinnati winter weather, and over the next few months, you're going to be hearing quite a lot about El Nino. To understand El Nino, we have to go to the equator and the coast of Ecuador. Because the rainy season along the coast of Ecuador begins during the Christmas season, farmers there considered the rain a gift from baby Jesus. In much of South America, the Christ child is known as El Nino, and the gift of rain is named in his honor. During the winter of 1972-73, that gift from the baby Jesus seemingly turned into a global weather disaster. Catastrophic floods in Ecuador, the collapse of Peru's fishing industry, extreme heat in Australia, a failed Indian monsoon, and here at home, because anchovies from Peru were no longer available for chicken feed, Chicken prices went through the roof. Meteorologists and oceanographers sprung into action to determine what was going on. And what did they find? When the Pacific trade winds weaken, equatorial sea surface temperatures warm, and when the ocean surface over an area of 12 million square miles, four times larger than the lower 48 states warms, weather on the entire planet is changed. Wow, that was a mind-blowing discovery that water temperatures 4,000 miles away can exert control over the winter weather here in Cincinnati. During an El Nino winter, the subtropical jet stream stays south, keeping moisture well south of Cincinnati. The polar jet bulges northward, keeping most frigid air masses north and east of us. El Nino winters, like the one on the way, are not normal winters in Cincinnati. Well, coming up later in the show, Ethan, we're going to give everybody our take on the forecast for the winter ahead. But first, I spoke with what I think are true experts when it comes to winter weather driving. I spoke with a local towing company who has seen it all with how bad Mother Nature can be here in the Tri-State. It could be 40 degrees and sunny on your way to work, but after 7, 8 o'clock, it gets dark. And then you're dealing in 20 degree weather and it's sloshy and slippery and you only have a sweatshirt or this or that, it, it's good to be well prepared for all kinds of weather. Winter weather in the Tri-State can change drastically, and Christopher Duffy Jr. of Northgate Towing has seen it all. One issue sticks out that you may overlook. The most common issue with the winter weather is definitely going to be batteries. Dead batteries is uh, the first initial freeze. You get a big wave of dead batteries, people calling in need jump starts. But once the vehicle is on, more problems can happen. Bald tires and people not having any tread on their tires is the worst thing for a vehicle because that affects their stopping distance with their braking power as well as their steering. Tread is much more important than you may realize. The tread in your, in your tires are meant for the water and the snow to go somewhere. They go in the tread and when there's no tread, the water gets stuck in between the tire and the road and that's where you, you get your sliding and your slip in and that's where the real dangers start to happen. So if you have tread on your tires and the battery is functional, 
what else should you be doing? Driving slow under the speed limit, especially in hazardous roadway conditions. And if you're in an accident, Duffy Jr. says to have a kit ready in your vehicle before you hit the road. It's all about preparing ahead of time. Yeah. You've got to be ready. Can't be out there trying to prepare yourself in the freezing cold. Uh, a good thing is to know what your car is capable of and what kind of car you have. If you got a little Honda, it's not a good idea to be going up and down big, slight, steep hills. And once you're physically prepared, you need to be mentally prepared too. The best thing to have in your car, especially in the winter, is a blanket because your car breaks down, there goes your heat. Uh, a flashlight, oh, a, winter, a winter kit, just anything, a flashlight, a shovel would be great. Well, coming up, we're talking about different precipitation types and how snow clouds form. Plus, we're going to look at the history of the Tri-State's only ski resort and how they maintain snow during the winter season.